Hi everyone, it's Adam here again. With my last update, I introduced JavaScript support to the Easy Layers extension, and in this video I'm going to show you how it works. Since JavaScript functions a little differently than C Sharp, I had to make a few adjustments to the layer mask functions. It works almost exactly the same, but there are a few key differences, and I want to make sure you know what they are. I've added a new example scene in the project for JavaScript users. To find it, go to Easy Layers, Example JS. If you open the scene, you'll see the same thing I'm seeing right now. This example is the exact same as the C Sharp example, just translated to use JavaScript. If you'd like a really detailed explanation of how the scene works, go back and watch the original Easy Layers video. This video is really just meant to show you the key differences in the custom layer mask functions when using JavaScript. So on your camera, you have the EL Camera JS script. This is the JavaScript version of the EL Camera in the other scene. Let's take a look at that script. At the top I have my mask variable, which is an integer. In the C-sharp version, I used the layer mask type for my mask, but JavaScript doesn't really play well with the layer mask type, so we have to use an int. It works the exact same way, it's just cast as a different type. In the start function is where I declare the mask and give it a value. The first big difference to note is that we don't use easy layers dot. We actually use easy layers js dot. This is the JavaScript version of the easy layers class. In C-sharp, we would use easy layers dot. In JavaScript, we use easy layers js dot. When creating a mask for a single layer, the create mask function remains the exact same. Easy layers js dot create mask red. When I pass in the layer name red, the mask is created with the layer red in it, and so the Raycast Center scene will only hit things on the red layer. I can do the exact same thing using the layer number. Mask equals easy layers js dot create mask eight. Let's see this in action. You see that the ray only hits the red layer. When we want to include more than one layer in our mask is when things start to change a little more. I'm going to go ahead and comment out this line. I'm going to uncomment this one. Let's say I wanted to create a mask with both the red and the blue layers. In the C-sharp code, all I have to do is write create mask, red, blue, and so on. But here's one of the main differences with JavaScript. In order to have an unlimited number of layers in my function call, we have to pass things in as an array. So we say mask equals easy layers js dot create mask new array red blue. You can put as many layer names or layer numbers into the array as you want, and the mask will be built with all of those layers. So right now, my mask will be built with the red and blue layers, which means the raycast will hit both of those layers. Let's see. And it works. That's really the key difference between C Sharp and JavaScript. Instead of just passing in all of the layer names or layer numbers, we have to pass them in as an array. Apart from that, it functions the exact same as if you're doing it in C Sharp. One thing to keep in mind is that you can't have an array with only one number in it. Let's say we have just new array 8 here. It turns out that instead of creating an array with the number 8, all you're doing is making an array that's size 8. That won't work. So you have to make sure that if you're using the array form of the function, you have to have more than one number. So that's the create mask function. The mask all except function works the exact same way. The only difference is that you are masking everything but the layers that you put in. So if you want to mask everything but the red layer, you do easy layers js dot mask all except red. Or if you want to do the layer number, you mask all except eight. The same thing goes if you're using more than one layer. Mask all except new array red green or 810 in this case. That's really it for all the differences if you're going to use JavaScript in your project. It doesn't seem like much, but if you don't use things the right way, nothing's going to work. So just remember these three key points. Use easy layers JS to call all of your functions. If you're only including one layer in your mask, all you have to do is include the layer name or the layer number. And if you're including more than one layer in your mask, you have to make sure to declare a new array of layers in your arguments. I'd like to say thank you to those of you that brought my attention to the need for JavaScript and easy layers, and I'm glad I could support the needs of a different group of people. 
If you have any other features you'd like to add, just let me know. Enjoy the JavaScript.